Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll discuss what IDE tools you need to continue your Terraform development. So the IDE which we are going to use is the Visual Studio Code. So the most famous IDE which is available in the market, which is free of cost to use for the Terraform development is the Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is one of the world's famous IDE tool available, which is open source to work on the languages like Terraform and many more. So you can download the Visual Studio Code free of cost. You can simply search VS Code or Visual Studio Code download. That will give you a link https code.visualstudio.com and from there you can download the setup based on your operating system. So as I'm using Windows 11, I can simply download the Windows 11 setup by clicking here on this particular option and that will download a latest version of the Visual Studio Code. As you can see, this is a very, very lightweight IDE tool. The setup is only around 80 MB in size and this gives me a lot of flexibility and a space to work on the tools like Terraform. So let's see what configuration you need in Visual Studio Code to get started with Terraform. So I have Terraform installed on my system after download and as you can see that this is my startup page on Visual Studio Code. Just to give you a quick, quick walkthrough, you can open a single file right here from this particular option. You can create a new file from this option or open an existing file or you can open a folder or project with this folder option. Apart from this, you can use the Visual Studio Code as terminal to run your any of your terminal commands such as Azure CLI, PowerShell or any other terminal based command with this terminal option. Here in the Visual Studio Code, on top of the base setup, you can install multiple extension. As you can see, I have installed the number of different extension right here on my left side. As you can see, I with these icons. You can click here on the extensions icon and download some of the prerequisite extensions which you'll need to continue your development with Terraform. First of all, you can search with Terraform as an extension, then download this is download this very popular Terraform extension. This will give you a uh, intelligence to continue your development with Terraform. Next. If you need, you can download this Terraform Azure option as well in case if you are working with Terraform Azure. Next, I have some other extensions installed such as Git Lens to connect to my Git repositories or to use the check-in check-out option right here from the Visual Studio Code with the help of Git. Apart from this, I have already installed some other extensions such as Azure, PowerShell, JSON, and this is a to do tree. And then there is a run and debug the code option, which is not related to Terraform at all. With that, you are good to start writing your code with your Terraform. Open your folder with Visual Studio Code. You can simply click here on the open folder, or you can choose this option open folder. I have this demo folder created for this particular demonstrations i'll be using this folder for to continue our demonstration which we'll be discussing in future in this folder you can simply create any file with the terraform extension such as the main.tf file and then you can write your terraform code for example i can simply use the output block to print a terraform variable hi from terraform and then I can run the terminal right here from this option. Terraform. As you can see, it is showing me the change as an out print output as a high from Terraform. I'll just change the spelling. I hope this helps you to set up the Visual Studio code with Terraform.